Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Braves Diva, the Cowboy, and Sister Chic's Moulin Rouge and Paris Nights. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2, and here is Braves Diva, the Cowboy. These were those polishes that were, um, the collection was from her grandmother's paintings. And I just had to break this one out and play with it. So I've capped my free edge first, and now I'm going in with the first coat of the Cowboy. It's a yellow polish, and I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. I like yellow. Um, they are finicky normally with formulas, but the way that this one's made, I didn't have any issues with this one at all. This one has a lot of yummy goodness in it. I'm hoping you'll be able to see it at some point in this video. It's got little flecks of other colors, and... I really like that it makes it so very different and you know I like different <laughs> so there's our second coat Woody is back again here he is hi Woody so I'm gonna top it with some of the Pro FX quick dry top coat and get it to dry down so that I can do some playing at this point I wasn't 100% sure what I was gonna be doing here but um you know, because sometimes that's how it happens. I just sit down and start playing and grabbing whatever. Or as I paint, I think of, oh, hey, this would look good. Okay, so now maybe you can see those little flecks of stuff. I really do think it's unique. So I'll be using the Moulin Rouge from Sister Chic. Paris Nights, also from Sister Chic. And then the Cowboy from Brave Steve Polish. I'm going to do a smushy. But I'm going to kind of like... I don't know. You'll see. Uh, I'm going to thin out the smushy by over stamping it on the mat before I move it to the nail some. Maybe that makes sense in that description. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm just going to kind of stamp it, squish it, and then take it around the mat a little bit and pull some of it off. There we go. Kind of like that. And I am reusing whatever's left on the stamper, you know, to kind of i got some more color where I need some more color. But I thought these looked really good together. It's very fall-like looking to me, especially after I do the stamping. You'll see what I'm talking about, maybe. But this also kept that coat, or that, very thin. And it kind of distorts the smushy a little bit more. And I did like that. So, you know, I just kind of trying to explain some of my madness here. You see, it's just, it, I don't know, it thins it out. It's, it waters it down or something. Um, and I am trying to get some more of that to move around. That first one, I'm not real pleased with it just yet. But there we go. So I'm going to go in with my little tweezers and get this latex up. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, I put on latex because I was doing a smushy. <laughs> and now I'm going to do some cleanup with some acetone and a cleanup brush. Not too bad of a mess, I'm happy to say. It's it's looking pretty good. Um, the nails all totally look different, which is what I come to expect with the smushy. I'll be using Brave Steve Polish Shut Out. And this Lena Twirls and Swirls 01, you guys know I'm hooked on this one. My monocle stamper and my clear jelly scraper. I'm bad hooked on this one. So I've got my latex on my fingers again. And we're just going to plop out some different images off of this plate all across these nails. And my latex is sticking together, so we're having issues already. But here we go. But I want, I want y'all to know that, you know, when um, Miss Becky sent me these plates, I, I, you know, I told myself they were not getting lost in my collection until I played with them. And that is my plan and my intention to keep playing with all of these plates. This one just has my heart, y'all. I really love this plate. I've always loved the twirly swirly images and this one is just full of it. I mean, it's even named that. So I promise I will be getting into some other plates, but for those of you that have this plate, here's some ideas. <laughs> And I am. I'm just pulling different images because everything's so cohesive. It goes together so well. And that's what I like about plates like this 
that the images flatter each other and you know you can pair them up quite easily without them looking weird so there we go so I'm gonna pull this latex off real quick and look hardly no mess again but we are gonna go in with that cleanup brush and do a little bit tidying up here now on my ring finger and my thumb I used a more full image so there's just a little bit of that base polish peeking out and I'll be using this more and pretty smudge free top coat because white is notorious for smearing on me so I'm gonna put a little layer of that down now I do a thin layer a relatively thin layer and it dries really quickly and then I'm able to apply my posh my thick glossy top coat to this I love this one I'm telling you guys this is one of my favorites I love it but I want to know what you think about it so leave me a comment down below let me know your thoughts I do have a swatch photo coming up here very soon there we go and I want to thank you for watching and until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon bye